In the 90s, black cinema went through its own renaissance. Films like Boys in the Hood, Poetic Justice, Menace to Society, Juice, Friday. Filmmakers like Spike Lee and John Singleton help usher in a new era, not only introducing to a wide audience, but also launching the careers of several actors and actresses that have made a name for themselves in the 90s and are still relevant today. In the early 2000s, black cinema could not escape the force of Mackay Pfeiffer, starring in more than 20 films from 1995 until 2003. Pfeiffer got his first big break from none other than Spike Lee and began to build a resume that included both movie and primetime TV roles. Pfeiffer could be felt all throughout Hollywood and in pop culture, as he would even be named in a lyric on the Billboard charting song. While Pfeiffer once aspired to be an MC, his career would make him a star in a different kind. With nearly three decades on the screen, Pfeiffer's performances in our favorite films speak for themselves, which is why Mackay Pfeiffer will always be unforgotten. Here's what happened to Mackay Pfeiffer. Born in Harlem, New York, Mackay Pfeiffer was raised by his mother, Rhonda Pfeiffer, who worked as a high school teacher as she raised him without the help of his father, but did her best to keep him active. In a 2014 interview with Larry King, Pfeiffer said, My mother's very strong school teacher, choreographer, dancer, always focused on not just education, but also arts and things like that. Her being a dancer and everything, she was always supportive and always got me into extracurricular things. So it wasn't just school. It was sleepaway camps, going to upstate New York, after school programs. She always insisted a lot of different things that helped me be here. In 1994, Pfeiffer graduated high school, but his acting career would take over his studies. I was going to college for electrical engineering. That job would have limited me in meeting all the various people that I would have met. At a young age, he had aspirations to becoming a rapper. In a 2014 interview with The Breakfast Club, Pfeiffer revealed that he secured his role in the film Clockers, which would end up being his second feature film role. Pfeiffer originally had no aspirations to act at the time. I really didn't see acting as a viable source for me. I was going to college and doing music at the time. I went to an open casting call with my cousin. He was staying at the crib and he came into my room to get his clothes. I said, where are you going? He said he was going to do Spike Lee's joint. Makai would end up joining his cousin at the open casting call for the film Clockers. In an interview, Makai would end up getting the role of Ronald Strike Dunham while his cousin would be Malik stand in for the part. This was a role that Pfeiffer auditioned for multiple times, getting a call back each and every time he stepped into the building. Before the movie, Pfeiffer had two minor roles on a TV show. Working on a Spike Lee film would prove to be his official debut on the big screen. When I got into the film industry, music took the back seat right off the top. So this is where my passion really lies. I don't know how passionate I would have been to stay in the music game. Pfeiffer was a guest star on two episodes of New York Undercover after his role in Clockers. He followed up the appearances in several music videos. He can be seen in 1996, Don't Let Go by In Vogue, Key Sweats Nobody, 1998's The Boy Is Mine by Brandy and Monica, 2002 Eminem's hit Lose Yourself, and Many Men by 50 Cent in 2003, where Pfeiffer was even mentioned in a lyric as well as featured in the video. All of the roles had given me different pieces of pride, so there's not one favorite one. You get fulfillment from so many different pieces of work that I do. Bouncing back and forth between music videos and feature films, Pfeiffer's most notable roles in film include Soul Food, O, which is the recreation of Shakespeare's Othello, where Pfeiffer was the title character, paid in full in Eight Mile. The opportunity came for him to portray Mitch in the 2002 film, Paid in Full. The movie is based on the real-life Harlem drug dealers A.Z. Faison, Rich Porter, and Alpo Martinez. Pfeiffer played the version of Porter in Jump at the Chance to help tell the story that would represent his own city. What I did, as far as research, was I met with Rich Porter's sister. I met with his homeboys. We just rode around, building, talking about things. They showed me certain spots where certain things happened. They showed me the McDonald's where they went and did money jobs when they kidnapped his little brother. I knew the whole neighborhood, but they just showed me specific things about that. When it came to David Future Porter in the Breakfast Club interview, Fiber revealed that when he first heard about 8 Mile, he wasn't too impressed with the story because it sounded cheesy to him. Fiber was stated to begin his role in ER at the time, 
but after reading the script and after meeting with Eminem in Detroit, this changed his mind. He managed to be part of several other box office hits, independent films, and other certified classics. Pfeiffer appeared in I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, Honey, Dawn of the Dead, This Christmas, and several episodes of Curb Your Enthusiasm. With this diverse skill set, his talents wouldn't be limited to the screen, but also to Broadway and voiceover acting. A pivotal moment in Pfeiffer's career came when he was invited to dinner at the house of Quincy Jones and was given some advice by the legendary Sidney Poitier. This advice, according to Pfeiffer, was, they won't pay to see your movies on Saturday if they see you at the club on Friday. Pfeiffer says that he had an interesting way of developing his acting chops. Never been to acting school. How I learned how to act was just watching my work. Luckily, I was blessed with that work. Pfeiffer says that wisdom is what kept him with a low social profile and his personal business out of the headlines. Later, financial roles would surround him. His youthful appearance would give him an advantage as he was able to book teenage roles. I choose characters that are interesting, but different. I love being challenged. According to Pfeiffer, Broadway was the most rewarding thing he's done. He was even offered a role in A Raisin in the Sun, but declined due to schedule conflicts. The time changed for Pfeiffer and so did his roles. His career these days is rooted in the world of television, like Dr. Gregory Pratt, the character he played on the medical hit drama series ER. Dr. Gregory Pratt was one of the most loved characters on the show. Pfeiffer began portraying Gregory Pratt during the show's eighth season and stayed on until the end of the 15th season. For his work on the long-running TV show, he received two NAACP Image Award nominations. Another nod would come from the NAACP Image Awards for A Lesson Before Dying. In 2002, Mackay Pfeiffer won the Rising Star Award for the iconic American Black Film Festival. I love doing what I do. I love delving into these characters being part of great production, working with great A-list people. Pfeiffer believes his time on ER came during the golden age of TV. His death on the show was written after an explosion which led to brain damage. While fans of the show felt like Pratt's passing came out left field, Pfeiffer said he and the writers agreed that his character should die. I had a great run on the show, but by the time I got there, even though the show had lost any of its quality, it just wasn't getting recognized anymore. Even though Pfeiffer had made rounds in Hollywood with numbers of roles, he said he encountered racism along the way. He says he's been told by agents that filmmakers were specifically looking for white men for certain roles. It bothers you to a certain degree. I think any actor wants to work and portray different characters. When you know you're right, you feel right, and to be sort of passed over by someone. Pfeiffer believes African Americans in the film industry will face challenges. When asked about his dream role, he said he would love to play the role of Al Green in a biopic due to similar upbringing but still was impactful and his music is still relevant to this day. In 2014, Pfeiffer was reporting to having declared bankruptcy for the debt of $1.3 million, with his assets only totaling $67,000. According to the source at the time, Pfeiffer owed $1.2 million in taxes, $50,000 in legal costs, and $5,000 in unpaid child support. It is not clear if the back child support was for one or both of his children. He fathered two sons, one by ex-wife and high school high co-star Melinda Williams and the other with former girlfriend Anya Sotra. In 2013, he tied the knot with his long-term girlfriend, Richelette Barnes. That's what it's all about. When you're working and making money, that's all good. But there has to be something that provides substance. I think family is the backbone, the foundation that keeps me going. Since hitting the financial rough patch, he's been able to cure his troubles with businesses and, of course, his claim to fame, acting. Nowadays, the acclaimed actor plays father figures. I love kids, outings, camping, sports, Legoland, all the daddy stuff. I love it. I wish I could just do that, but I have to work too. On the Hulu series Love, Victor, his dad, and acting skills are on display in this role as Harold Brooks. The series focusing on LGBTQ plus representation began streaming in 2020 and is still running in its third season. Lately, Pfeiffer was a guest star on dramas like Bronzeville and Truth Be Told as recurring characters. Pfeiffer's influence has taken on many different forms, but he will be remembered for his consistency and performances on and off the screen. One of the pioneers of the 90s and the 2000s black cinema, Mackay Pfeiffer is a name synonymous to nostalgia, class, 
and versatility. He's one of the very few black action stars in the industry and his longevity in the business is a testament to his talent, which is why Makai Pfeiffer will always remain unforgotten. Stay up to date with the latest news in comedy, sports, and music by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms and be on the lookout for our new streaming service. For High Plus News, the name is Juan, Magic Juan.